At high altitudes, the monsoon rains fall as snow. Here, at the far eastern end of the range in China, one inhabitant endures the bitter winters out in the open. Most other bears would be sleeping underground by now, but the giant panda can't fatten up enough to hibernate. Its food, bamboo, on which it totally relies, has so little nutritional value that it can't build up a store of fat like other bears. Most of the creatures here move up or down the slopes with the seasons, but the panda is held captive by its diet, for the kind of bamboo it eats only grows at this altitude. But these forests hold fewer challenges for the more mobile. The golden snub-nosed monkey, like the giant panda, lives only in China. Their thick fur allows them to survive at greater altitudes than any other monkey, and when the cold bites, they have these upper slopes to themselves. Even if you have a warm coat, it apparently helps to surround yourself with as many layers as possible. But at least these monkeys have a choice. If they tire of tree bark and other survival food, they can always descend to lower, warmer altitudes and not return until spring. As the snows retreat, trees come into bloom. cherry blossom, rhododendrons. Here in their natural home, they form great forests and fill the landscape with the colors of a new season. 